What's up, YouTube? It's time for another loose graded vintage Star Wars market update. Lots of different items sold, some on the low end and some on the high end. And I've got a pretty good assortment here of items that sold at mainly at auction, although there was one AFA 90 Lumet that blew my mind in terms of the final sales price. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. This seller had a number of early first 12 figures that were all AFA graded that sold for pretty significant prices. I was a little surprised at the upper end of the scale, but this was an AFA small head Han Solo. We all know how expensive the small heads are, and uh, this one was no exception. This is the standard small head with the molded legs. The painted legs Hong Kong version of this small head Han is much more expensive, but this one still sold at an auction for $350. Now, I've seen recently an AFA 85, same, same case style everything, uh, that sold for as low as 260 so this one went a little bit higher than I expected. And that was true for all of this seller's items. He had an AFA 80 plus Darth Vader with the lettered saber. Uh, so this is not an AFA 80 plus, 85, but this was an 80 plus. So still pretty significantly high grade, plus the lettered saber is the early saber version, with the exception, of course, of the double telescoping saber. But this one still sold for 180 50 I found another one that was an AFA 80 plus, same grade, same COO with the lettered saber that sold for 160 recently. So this one did go a little bit higher than expected. And then finally, he had an older case style Darth Vader Lily Letty. So Lily Letty, and it was an AFA 85 plus, so very high grade, made in Mexico for the Lily Letty. And that one sold for 320. So uh, pretty significant price points for all of those sales that he had. Uh, next up, this seller also had some that have really shocked me on the upper end of the scale. This was an older case style. This one didn't even have the dowels around the neck for this Princess Leia. Admittedly, it was an AFA 85 uh, Hong Kong. It did, it's not labeled whether it's the brown or the black hair. So this is, you know, a very early label, uh, early case style from AFA. And uh, this one sold for $540 on 27 bids. That one closed on July 27th. So uh, that, that number really surprised me. I thought for an older case style, I was expecting maybe a 400-ish, uh, but that one did go for 540. Uh, next up, he had an AFA 85 Sand People that I, I can't wrap my head around why this one went so high. Uh, it, was, it was a Hong Kong standard Sand People, not even the dark brown paint, not even the hollow cheeks, not even the long eye, eye stalks. So all of those tend to go for a little bit more money. And this one sold for $379. And again, older case style. This, you know, this figure rattles around inside the case. There's no dowels around the neck, uh, you know, and no kind of etched accessory case. And I'm not being a snob. I'm just saying in general, those tend to command a higher price than these really older original case styles from AFA. That one still sold for $379. That seems like a drastic overpay relative to where you can usually pick that one up. Even in a new, newer case style, I would think it would go for less than that. So $379 did take that home. Uh, next up, Vaults of Yavin did have a number of beautiful items that sold at auction. Uh, the first one being that Droid Factory R2-D2. I believe I had this in my What to Buy video. And I, I think I said, hey, look, the 75 plus that he had sold for like 360 if memory serves. And I expected this a a AFA 80 example to go for about 500 to 550. And so even I was low on that. It came in at 565. 565 for the Droid Factory R2-D2 AFA 80. He also does, at informational purposes, he also does has have an AFA 85 in a buy it now situation. And I think he wants $800. So uh, I have seen them sell for that. So, uh, you know, we'll see if he gets that or not. But if you're looking for an AFA 85 Droid Factory R2-D2, he does have that one available. Volsa Yavin on eBay. I bought from that seller before. Uh, he had an AFA 80 brown haired Luke Bespin, Hong Kong. That one sold for $147.50. And what's interesting is he had an AFA 80 blonde hair, which I consider to be more common. That one sold for more, actually. It sold for $196.50. I mean, to me, that's just this is my personal preference. I probably would pay more for the brown haired Luke Bespin in the same grade versus the blonde hair, just because the blonde hair seems to be a little bit easier to find. But uh, that one did sell for $147.50. That one sold for $196.50. Uh, he had an AFA 80 Cloud Car Pilot, brand new case style, beautiful example there. That one sold for $146.50. I thought that was a really good buy. I would have paid that all day long. I think that's a, that's a, that's a good deal uh, for a, a fairly high grade 
cloud car pilot. Uh, he also had the Orange Snake Hong Kong uh, Yoda. This one is the light green head uh, with kind of the light brown eyes, cherry eyes, I guess you can call it. Uh, it did have some scratches on the hands there that you can see that are pretty pronounced as well as one, one or two scratches on one of the feet. And uh, so that probably held the, the, the grade down a little bit, but it's appropriately graded in AFA 80. That one sold for 198.50. And then at the same time, there was an AFA 85 Yoda brand new case style with the brown snake. And that one was at auction, or no, I'm sorry, that was a buy it now situation. And that one sold for 260. So you can see now, admittedly, this is a little bit higher grade, but that was an AFA 85, 260 for the brown snake. AFA 80, Orange Snake, that one sold for about 200 To me, I'd pay up and I'd get that one for $60, $70 more, whatever the number is, uh, for a higher grade plus the harder to find, more expensive usually, Brown Snake Yoda for $260. Uh, I have seen one, another one that was an AFA 85 Brown Snake Yoda that sold for 230 So that gives you a nice tight price range, 230 to 260 plus shipping uh, if you're looking for a Brown Snake Yoda in a high grade. Uh, let's see, Alvin... Al Vintage Toys Limited had a number of beautiful UKG examples that sold here recently. Uh, this one is the Floating D Spanish PBP Chewbacca. Not a tough variant to find, and this price is up a little bit versus where I've seen it sell. It was a UKG, 85%, and as you can see there, it says no COO Floating D. And what does the Floating D refer to? Well, that just means on the back of the leg, where it normally says made in Hong Kong, there's only a D there, and I'm going to see if we can get a close-up of that. Uh, you can see that floating D right there, uh, right in here. It's hard, it's hard to see it, but uh, the Spanish PBP used the Hong Kong figure mold, and then they blocked out the Hong Kong, but the D would show up on certain examples. There's a circle, circle on foot Spanish uh, PBP or yeah, Spanish PBP Chewbacca, and then there's the Floating D. The Floating D, in my experience, is a little bit tougher to find and usually goes for more money. This one sold for 132 pounds, which is 170 US dollars. You might be able to get it for cheaper than that. That might be a little high. Uh, I've seen them go for about 130 US dollars. So, uh, but still, that is the harder to find Spanish PBP variant for Chewbacca, the, the Floating D versus the Circle on Foot variant, which goes for about 100 bucks. Uh, he also had a Spanish POC uh, Imperial Commander. This one is uh, graded UKG 85%. Tough to get the Spanish figures in high grade, but uh, that one did sell. Uh, it looks like it might have a little bit of wear around the, the helmet visor there, uh, but overall it still got the 85%. That one sold for 121 pounds, which is 156 US dollars. Pretty decent price on that one. Uh, next up was a UKG 90% Wicket. And that one sold for 180 pounds, which is 232 U.S. dollars. Pretty good deal on that one. Wicket seems to command a pretty decent price premium. AFA 85s can set you back a little bit more than 232 dollars. So I think for a UKG, 90 uh, percent, that's that's a pretty good deal at 232. Uh, he also had a last 17 Anakin Skywalker mail away that was graded UKG 90 percent. That one sold for 117 pounds, which is 151 U.S. dollars. That seems to be about right. You might pick it up on Facebook groups for, I'd say, 140 or so. Uh, but uh, for a UKG 90, that's not, that's not a terrible deal. Uh, AFA, excuse me, UKG 85% A-Wing Pallet, another last 17 figure. That one sold in an auction for 242 pounds, which is 312 U.S. dollars. This one did have some wear around the silver... Uh, chest apparatus. That's one of the first things I always look for on the A-Wing pilot. Is the silver chest paint, what, does it have wear? This one does have wear. I think it might be slightly overgraded, honestly. I think a, a, an AFA, if, if you crack this open and resubmitted it to AFA, I bet at best it would get an AFA 80. So personal opinion on that, but that, that's, what, that's kind of a pet peeve for me. He also has some wear around the nose. You can look at the hands, the nose, and that silver paint uh, on the chest for defects on the A-Wing pallet if you're buying one loose to be graded eventually. Uh, so to me, that one's a little bit overgraded. Uh, next up, we had a Lumat. Now, I wanted to show you this because this is insane, okay? Now, this one is an older, admittedly an older case style. This Lumat was graded AFA 90. And I want to show you this because a little bit later on, I'm going to show you a Lumat that was an AFA 90 with the new case style. 
And it just shows you what a drastic overpay the next one is I'm going to show you. But this was an AFA 90, uh, older case style. That one sold for 138 pounds, which is 178 U.S. dollars. Now, remember that number, 178 U.S. dollars, okay? Uh, here is an AFA 85, Pat Blue, again with a, uh, looks like the second gen AFA case with the dowels, but not the recessed uh, accessory case. That one sold for 137 pounds and change, which is 177 US dollars. Here is that CAS, uh, CAS 80 plus Lily Letty removable hood Jawa. Now I said, I had this in my what to buy video and I said it could go as high as $1,500, but in the current environment, maybe you get lucky and it goes for less than that. Well, it did go for less than that. I thought this was a great buy. It sold for $1,332. Folks, I, I usually see them sell for this price ungraded uh, on Facebook, anywhere from $1,500 to $1,800 ungraded on Facebook. So to get that for $1,332, that was a bargain of a deal. I know it's a lot of money, but this is one of the rare holy grails for the Lily Letty line. And uh, great price on that one. Congratulations, whoever picked that up. All right, now here's that other Lumat. Now, this was sold by CIB, Collectibles Investment Brokerage. So they got some cash, cachet. They've got their pedigree, right? And so if you're an international buyer, you know you're going to get it. Uh, in safe and sound condition if you buy from AFA directly. But this was an AFA 80 or a 90, AFA 90 uh, archival case, brand new case style. Uh, we just showed you one that had the older case style that sold for $179, whatever the number was. This one was listed for $2,000 and it sold for $800. I'm talking the exact same grade. Now, admittedly, the case styles are different, but 178 or whatever it was versus $800. That's a drastic overpay, in my opinion. No offense if you happen to be the person that bought it, but $800 is insanity. No way I pay that number. <laughs> no way. I mean, you can even look at this one and see that there's torso discoloration on it, right? Look at the torso versus the legs and the arms. It's got some yellowing to it. So uh, maybe it's just shadows, but it does look a little bit yellowed versus the arms. So I think, it, it, number one, it's probably overgraded. Or, and this is a good example here, you can see how yellow the torso is. It's not significant, but it is there. And on the hood, at the bottom of the hood, right here, it's got, it's, it's got some paint scratches. So this one's overgraded, in my opinion. It's overgraded, and, uh, and $800 is, is insane. No way I pay that number. Uh, next up was another one I had in my What to Buy video, and it did not last long. So, you know, my Patreon supporters, they get my video 24 hours early access. And as soon as my video went live, it sold. Uh, it, as soon as it went live to them, it sold. So I assume a Patreon supporter picked this one up. It sold. It was listed for $700. This is an AFA 85 TIG from brand new case style from Brian's Toys, and it sold for $665. So if you happen to be a Patreon supporter and you be the, and you were the one that picked this up, congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. I thought that was a good price. Uh, I see them sell for $600 plus ungraded on Facebook. So $665 for an AFA 85 I thought was a, a great buy. And then finally, another one in my What to Buy video. This is that custom from CAS that had the cloud car pilot displayed in front of the cloud car and it was graded CAS 85 plus. I forgot to look up the sales price on this one, but it was listed for $700. So uh, somebody picked it up for less than $700. So congratulations again, if you happen to be the person that picked that up. That's an awesome display piece if you got this, the uh, shelf space for it. So anyway, just some more information for loose graded figures that were out there on eBay. Thanks as always for watching and I'll be back soon.